Uh, si Diane, uh, she, that, the last, uh, this 2020, Diane, di ba ikaw yung uh, nag-coordinate sa mga Manila cosplayers to get in Otaka Fest, courtesy of Unity Productions? Ah, mm. uh, yes po. Mm-mm. How was it? How was it? Um, medyo madali lang para sa akin kasi we um we collaborated na rin during our con. Mm-hmm. Uh, so at the same yung mga same people or yung same cosplayers na nandoon ng our con, mas rumam lang kami nung Otaku Fest kasi we want to give chance din naman sa mga as a, yung sa iba din na gustong magbenta ng prints nila. Um, as for the market dito sa Cebu, it's hindi pa siya masyadong open to cosplay prints or cosplay merch, but we want to start from something. So, um, gusto namin na open yung mind ng mga Cebuanos that those possibilities na pwede silang makabili ng mga cosplay merch from their idols is very possible. So it's also a way of supporting then um, the cosplayers that um, uh, that of course ang um, alaking expenses ng mga from costumes to photo shoots. So it's also one way para makasupport din sa pinafalo nil cosplayers. So we invited um, I forgot how many. Basta marami kami. Actually including din si Miles, but Miles is with Ah, uh, ano yung brand? Cougar. They have their own brand. Ah, oh, they have their own brand. May booth din sila. So, Mas was not able to be there sa booth namin, but it's okay na um kasi nakabenta nakabenta na, na, na benta din siya sa booth uh, booth niya with the said brand. Ah, uh, yun lang sa amin is under sa Unity Production. So, it's one of the biggest um organization here in Cebu, um which is more um I mean, organizing more into um, esports. They're promoting esports, so they're mm-hmm. in a way they also want to help um, cosplayers then um, to have a venue para magbenta ng cosplay prints. Yung, eto naman, uh, the first time I went back to se, ano ba? The first time I went to an anime con in Cebu, in a event in Cebu, eh, I. I think si ano si Mice na tayo. Mice organize a one piece uh, day, di ba? Yeah, so, but it wasn't uh, like an an actual one piece day. It, I just like I asked and worked with Otaku Fest for uh, collaboration. Na bigyan ako ng segment. It was just an hour, I think, para you know to like give uh, how do you say this like acknowledgement and recognition to uh, yeah Appreciate one piece cosplayers. Right. Yeah, pero ang saya kasi we had our own booth, binigyan kami like we were very well taken care of um Otaku Fest last year. Uh my booth pa kami sa sa entrance talaga. And then it was fun kasi mag may merong ano a one piece trivia for ganyan. And it was very very successful and I'm so happy that it happened. And hopefully I could organize another one in the future. Hmm. Ang dami yeah. pang ideas. Yeah, I still be one piece. Ah, uh, depends. There's like oh, a one line. And dami. And dami. I like a lot of things. <laughs> and just to add on, I just hope lang na ano Ayun, na. Line. I remember that Miles actually uh, also wanted to have a Naruto fan of yeah, so, uh, uh, which is actually a very good idea with the success of the one yeah. piece appreciation day i and think it's it's good there's a big possibility that we can have a naruto uh, appreciation uh, day yeah. for this and then uh, to that. <laughs> too bad covid happened so wala yeah. Mm-hmm. Sad. yeah allow me to read her reply yeah. so again your question gary is uh, how challenging is it to organize events? There's a lot of challenges. Uh, first, a few people organize niche events, and out of those people, are a, a handful are professionals. So, mabibilang po sa kamay ang mga professional event organizers. And it's really, so it's really hard to work with, on with everyone who has a little knowledge in organizing events. Because uh, events, events are not just programs, eh. Uh, balik tayo kay uh, Dayan. How uh, you mentioned na madali sa inyo yung makita collaborate because you had a previous collaboration before. So uh, prior to that, prior to that, uh, ano pa pang ginagawa mo outside of uh, cosplay? Outside cosplay po, ngayon wala. 
Wala. Talaga, Wala I, um, before, I was working at a BPO company, which is related mm. into uh, medications. Um, Medication. Yeah. But then, before COVID happens, uh, naka, nag-resign na ako. So, oh, most dear. likely yung ginagawa ko, um, naglalaro lang talaga. <laughs> so you're, you're focusing on Twitch na talaga 100%. Twitch, Facebook um, Live, tama na? No, hindi ako nag-Twitch for now. Um, and I stopped streaming din sa Facebook kasi medyo mahina yung connection if nag-stream. So, laro lang talaga. Yung laro lang talaga. Yeah, self-care. Um, I think yun ang pinagsasabi, like yung sinasabi ni Adayan. I think it, she's purely in self-care right now. <laughs> Mm-mm. Like at her Yan own pace, yeah. <laughs> so we oh, we move on back to I uh, again. Yung yasin nabi nga niya earlier na she has uh, there, there are challenges kasi nga mabibilang sa kama yung mga nagorganize ng events such as uh, mga niche events and it's really hard to work with everyone who have little knowledge in events organizing kasi you have to adjust according to what they know. They're not in the, of course, they're not in the same industry as you kasi iba-iba mga, ano yan eh, uh, iba-iba mga fields yan. Sa so, team pa lang yan. And there are other obstacles pa in events marketing. But that's another chapter pa. Well, actually, eh, nakarelate ako sa, ano, sa, sa answer ni Mai, um, ni Ai rather. So, um, we ha- since we have, I'm working with different kind of work ethic and also different kind of personality, talagang is really a challenge to, to collaborate, to also um, to find ways how we can uh, be at the same goal or at the same uh, way to organize a, a very successful event. So, especially if they come from a different uh, experiences as well, which is yung iba talagang hasala talaga sa event organizing, then yung iba talaga talagang baguhan pa talaga. So, it is really such a challenge. Uh, but you know what? But one thing's for sure is that we are all we are all having the same. We're all having the same goal: is to make a very successful event. But I would like to also uh, get to know or uh, your point of view, nila uh, Miles and also Nita. And what is your challenge, ba, on also on organizing events? Yung challenge uh, for me when it happened, yung One Piece Day or anything. If I if I decide to organize anything. I think the main challenge is because I tend to have I don't know, I don't know. Oh, Gary. Like I, I I get like too many how do you say this? I get too many ideas at the same time. So sometimes I forget and then so that's why I need to note take everything. Like I, I mentioned this on stream last night, Gary na. I really have to note take everything. I have to write down anything, everything and I want to to be on top of everything now I, I have to know what is going on in every like in every aspect of the event or whatever because if I don't I get like super paranoid now baka may mangyayaring masama so what I do is I, I do everything tapos I just tell people to do this and that for me and then they just report me that's how that's how I do my stuff so I don't know how they do it professionally but me as a you know, a hobbyist lang to make like uh, organizing get gatherings and get together. Yen ang ginagawa ko. I just like ask people to do stuff for me and then report sila. And then talaga my papers talaga like you have to give me like receipts if my pinag you know if I if I ask you to buy something receipts receipts receipts. Yeah, and then I don't. Yeah, like I I, oh. I I do that for I. Parang walang, you know, the, the alibi na or the excuse na, pa na ano, the, when they say na, oh, sinabi mo, blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, but we don't have proof for that. Like, yeah. So I need, I need something na, the, on paper, so I would, I would know what, what the hell is going on. <laughs> so, yeah. I have to, I have to know and oversee everything. That's my, yeah, the, the transparency. There's like transparency in it. Like, I have to oversee everything before I can approve it. I can't just leave people to do their thing. I have to be a part of it, if I can. Then if I can't do it, I just like trust people enough. And then, you know, yung, yung wing it the day itself, that, that's really hard for me. <laughs> I can't do it, just, just go for it. 
Like the production really proper can't. talaga, I swear. Yeah, that, I, like, I can't. Like, with I have to. Begins, dapat, like, dapat, dapat my schedule mm-hmm. talaga. That's how I do it. But, you know, on the day itself, there is no schedule. But, dapat my timeline. Walang schedule, pero timeline lang. Like, segregated talaga lahat. So that, that's, that's how I do everything from daily life to work to organizing. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that's just me when it comes to everything in life. Thank you, Miles. How about you, yeah. Diane? I believe you have um, an experience in organizing nung ano kayo, tiba? Nung mm-hmm. when you were in an organization in a university. Yes. Um. So it actually re- for me, uh, the challenges. I see, kuya. <laughs> go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, it depends. Uh, on what events, kasi um, there are different type of challenges, especially if um, if nasa school or sa or. If nasa labas na school or yung parang sa malls. Oh, like yeah, I can hear you guys. Hello. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yes, finally. Pero wala mo na video. Kasi baka wala mo na din ko na. Oo, mahirap na, mahirap na. Sa tabi na mong girls ko, nadidiscount daw ako every two to three minutes. So, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. May expression yung operation. So, yun. Mhm. Ah, eh eh yung isa sa ko sa mga girls ko. Ano? Yan 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 energy yan, energy na yan eh. Mga girls maintain your energy like that, okay? <laughs> so, moving back, uh where do we cut? Where did we cut yan? Yes. Ah yeah, sorry, it's okay. Yeah. 5% lang. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sana nga yung, ba, yung... oh yeah, it depends on different um events at saka mm-hmm. kung what type of events. Uh, I mean, kung sorry, sandali lang po. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, okay. Ah. Charge ka phone. Charge ka phone agad. Uh, if happen. Or school. Um, for example, mm-hmm. nung na- mas nahihirapan ako nung nagsimula ako kasi I don't have background with with um marketing. So, mm-hmm. um so para sa akin is yung mahirap is yung i-gather mo yung people at the same interest. Correct. And uh-huh. the more nag lumalaki yung events, the more na rumarami yung interest and and like mm-hmm. different types of hobbies in one convention or in one event mm-hmm. and most likely um some um, organizers they tend to uh, put um, leaders or head sa kada hobby para Correct. segregated yung um workforce mm-hmm. and of course um uh, everything follows and then and then but if maliit lang yung event tas maliit pa yung alam mo na community like for example sa school lang hindi mo pa alam kung sino itatap mo na mga kasama mo na willing mag-work na walang pay for that kasi kasi wala nila. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, oh. yeah, yun yung mahirap sa akin. And I really started um, loving cosplay since I uh, fall in love with Cardcaptor Sakura on grade 2. And I found out about Akihabara which is the pioneer um, cosplay central in Japan. And since wala akong pera and I know na I really can't go to Japan yet. I I told myself na why not bring cosplay here. So gumawa ako ng events ko and then luckily <coughs> ang daming sumali. Uh, like, ginawa kasi nila requirement like kada uh, kada section dapat may representative. Uh, uh, so it started uh, like that. So well yung para nag event ka lang muna tapos wala ka pa inexpect in return. So yun yung uh-huh. napaka challenging sa akin. Uh, like, I think it was held to support ah. Uh, ah yeah. Ay, I think it was held sa open court. As far as I remember kasi I was one you invited me as one of the judges before. Ah uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, USP. So University USP of, uh, University Southern. of Southern Philippines Foundation. Mm. And then after no event na yun, saka na namin nalaman may events na rin pala sa labas ng school, yung sa mga malls mm. and then that started na I and then I went into San Carlos to study marketing. Kaya ayun. Mas madali sa akin mag-organize this time. It's even if they just put me into um like a uh, smaller events or like segment event or parang booth lang. Mas madali na sa akin mag-collaborate into people kasi yung kinukuha ko rin mga tao is yung madaling kausap. Yun yeah. yung best part. Oo. Like the people that you work with before, that you are very uh, mm. confident that they can do uh, great things, that you know, with experience and also with a tra- track record. Yeah, it's yes, really so. good to get the right connection and the right people mm. to be on your team, and that you're comfortable and, with. So yes, and 
one thing din po is referencing. So, kapag Correct. may nag, nag yeah, pag, for example, kilala mo na yung tao, tapos sabi niya, uy, salin natin to. So, mas madaling yes. nating makakausap if may connection. And then, one more thing is then, if may, nagpupu, pinupu siya ng kakilala mo, this the more than, mas kampante yung loob mo to work with those people then. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's totally right. That's totally true, actually. Uh, have you expect? Have you ever expected to cosplay since when you were a child? So, narealize mo na you you love to dress up. Uh, you love to be your character, your favorite character. Did it align okay. well with your childhood dreams? Childhood dreams. When I was younger, I wanted to be a scientist, and then who would have thought? Pero mm-hmm. I've always been like a chunibio, chunibio ako kasi. When I was younger, I was, I always believed I had superpowers. I grew up with anime. Yeah, I grew up with anime and then Chunibyo talaga ako. And then I didn't have childhood friends. So the only person I I basically amused myself with was myself. So, so yeah, ever since I guess, like even if before cosplay was a concept talaga or before it became a thing, in my life that I did not know it existed. I already like sort of dressed up as a character. I remember wearing like, um, I remember wearing long sleeves to see, see Vincent from Ghostbusters wore, like wore long sleeves. And when Toy Story came out, I wear I wore vests all the time because Woody wore vests all the time. So, parang <laughs> so I really did believe I, I could fly and had superpowers when I was younger. That's the, uh, you know, numerous injuries. <laughs> in my life <laughs> but yeah <laughs> i did not expect uh, uh it will come in line sa life ko later on but it de- definitely helped with the passion i guess and the enjoyment because i was like oh i finally have money to do stuff now before paper lang and clothes na makikita mo yeah yeah i i made yung armband ni reka gamit ng folder before when i was younger Nice. Tapos yung, yeah, yeah, yung, yung medallions ng ano, Akazuki. I keep on looking at my webcam, sorry. At yung <laughs> mga med, web, yung, ano, yung medallions, yung bracelet and ring ng um, Akazuki and Chacha. I did that too. Like, all for myself. Kasi wala kong friends. So, like, I have the ring, I have the pendant, and I have, like, the bracelet. And that's not a lie. That, that's very true. I didn't have friends, so. <laughs> I grew up alone. Yeah. So, so yeah. Yeah. naman. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Uh, Man, uh, was, was it na, na ka pa nung mo? Yes. Have you ever thought of cosplay as a cat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, po. Like, losers. Kapag may, <laughs> kapag may let's go, mga, let's go, losers. <laughs> Oo. Kapag may mga events, ayun, nakakosplay, tas uh, since I was a kid, I really love um, wearing costumes na kahit nakakahiya minsan, but carabels. And then the, the more I grow into the fandom, hindi ko pa so, kasi naintindihan yung cosplay noon. Yeah. Like, I just wanna dress up. Yeah, yeah yun yeah. lang. And you, the thing is, you want to be part of the show na winawatch mo. Parang ganon. And then and then it grew into something na my goals ka na, like, you want to be part of a community, ayun na, cosplay community, you want to improve yourself, may nilook up ka na ng mga cosplayers, na gusto, ah, gusto ko rin maging ganon, or gusto ko rin mag-cosplay na mabigyan ng justice yung characters, ayun. Then, you slowly evolve into something na, ayun ka na ngayon. <laughs> so, since um since bata pa ako, I really uh, want to cosplay na. But hindi, sig- hindi pa siguro pumasok sa isip ko na ganito na mga events. Yung gusto ko lang talaga siguro noon, gusto ko lang talaga makapag-attend. Eh, min- gusto ko kasi maging part ng, ano yun sa Disneyland, yung mga princesses doon. Yun yung dream job, yung isa sa mga dream job. But um, as what I realized, the more I grew in... Um, the more I realize na kapag yung hobby mo, ginawa mo na talaga ang profession, the more kasing lumalayo yung loob mo sa, like, nabuburn out ka parate. So, I really want to, um, what I did is that 
I look for a, a job kanang yung malayo sa hili ko tas I treat it as a job and then mm. I uh, yung hobby ko like may separate talaga na na hobby lang talaga siya whatever yung for example like selling of merch and selling of prints mm. guestings whatever you get from that um contented ka kasi whatever you get from that if you don't take it as a job if you don't take it yeah. as something na you're expecting na dapat ganito yung makuha ko yung ganun sa job kasi iba yung treatment you have to be on uh, you have to be yeah. um you have to meet something something like that ayun hmm. yes po yeah that's true like um i i'm i'm reading the chat and sabi ni Donny na when hobbies become your life that's when it starts being a chore i really have to agree on that that's why I, I I decided to. I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted a day job, kasi nakakaumay if I'm using that right. Because like I uh, I love cosplaying, but if if it's what's making you know, it's it's causing you stress, then that's not a good thing anymore. Good thing anymore. Correct. I yeah, it's it's yeah, it's supposed to make you know enjoy it and you have fun, and then yung mga guestings and then yung stuff na you get from cosplaying like yung bumibili ng prints mo yung mga followers mo those are just like yung mga cherry on top like you already have the cake yes. tapos sila yung mga sprinkles and cherry mo na you did not expect because hindi yun yung ano goal mo in the, in the first place you just wanted to be a loser na loud and proud <laughs> and then yo yun, and then they're just like the blessings that come after kasi hindi da- dapat hindi sila hinahabol and those are like the most the, like those are the like the nicest things about it like if you don't if, like you know if you don't chase after them because they always come for you like they always like good things always come to those na, who do things for fun okay so yeah so to supplement like diane's answer because pareho, pareho kami it's like we didn't expect na mo gravitate ng ganito na level kasi we're both losers and we know each other like deeply <laughs> eh, alam namin sa tisa even outside yeah. business yeah kahit like even outside business like lahat lahat talaga and then i could say the same thing with i as well that pwede, we can carry conversations na walang cosplay talaga <laughs> like real life shit yeah we, we're there <laughs> hmm. tapos yeah it's always it's, it's nice to keep yourself grounded hindi puro hobby lang like, in general like uh-huh. never forget never forget the tao ka pa rin. <laughs> that's true and you also need money <laughs> that's true you need money to support your hobby so yeah, that's why yeah. there's work so <laughs> yung ROI ng cosplay uh, it's very slow so <laughs> <laughs> don't go crazy guys tama lang control lang control lang. lang I know maraming sales right now control lang <laughs> tamang hi <laughs> yeah. uh, okay so question number three natin uh, babalik tayo dun sa activities outside cosplay this is why uh, this episode specifically cosplay uh, our careers and outside of our cosplay careers so mm-hmm. the third question is moving back um, did your background in, say, advertising, marketing, or tourism, or what not your related fields, has it ever helped you with your cosplay? And uh, we'll move to Ice question, give me a bit. Uh, absolutely, yes. Uh, believe it or not, uh, she was an, uh, or she was an introvert, or she, uh, an introvert pa rin si I. What else? Kasi she's, she's interacting with the mongrels eh. And uh, I'm a certified mongrel na rin. Certified noong 2019. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, so having to face the camera and interact with different kinds of people help I to be confident the way she is right now. And confidence is the number one key in her industry, which is hospitality. Yan po. Kaya yung reveal. 2020. So moving back to Diane, uh, has 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 your skills in cosplay help you, or uh, has your skills in your field cosplay, vice versa? Uh, yes, po. Uh, since I started marketing, um, mas alam ko kung ano yung gawin ko with regards to um, promoting my cosplays. So nalalaman ko sino yung mga target market ko or the more I understand people, kung ano yung, sino yung makaka-jive mo, like, what is the product that I'm selling, 
or what is the cosplays that I'm doing in my page and the people who are um, who are following or supporting my cosplay. So the more nagaka connect yung yung mga pinagagawa mo into as a cosplay. So siguro it's um, selling marketing is also one way of um, promoting myself then sa cosplay community. So mm-hmm. doon na pumasok yung mas mas marunong ako mag-take ng risk when it comes to selling my cosplay merch. Um, yeah. And, yeah. And the more na din akong, I mean, makapal yung mukha ko, pero nahihiya pa rin ako. Like, <laughs> like saying hi to people. Kaya minsan hindi ako nagre-reply kasi hindi ko alam kung anong sasabihin ko. So, since um, the more ko silang nakocomprehend, more likely nakaka-connect na ako sa mga people. So, during events, mas kumakapal na po yung mukha ko. Ayun. <laughs> Karelate si Mas. <laughs> Usually, um, I can only talk with people na yung close lang talaga sa akin. But now hmm. po, um, even kakilala ko, uh, kakilala ko lang, like, nakilala ko lang during events, nakakapag-usap na kami. Ayun. So, ay ka ng, ano pa ba? <laughs> Aside from that, um, natutunan ko rin po kung paano, um, Ah, uh, paano ba? Ano, ano ba yung... Ah, sige, proceed muna si Mas. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Naliputan ko tuloy ko yung ano sabihin ko. Um, aside, uh, yeah, aside from um, establishing yung type of cosplays na gusto mong gawin, um, it, also, it also kasi na rin pumapasok na rin yung branding eh. Correct. Sa, yeah, kung anong type of cosplays yung ginagawa mo. For example, people who do cross-dressing, there are also types of cosplayers na nagko-cross-dress. Tapos yung, mm-hmm. yung kinocosplay lang talaga is cross-dress na version. Uh, I mean, cross-dress lang talaga. And then there are types of people who do um, a mixture of cosplays and sexy cosplays. Like yung boudoir or... You're incorporating the characters into their sexy version. Meron ding ganon. And we also have a um, type of cosplays na incorporated to childhood um, yung fandoms. Yung, for example, nandito tayo sa mga pangbata. Yung market nila is yung mga pangbata. Mm. Yeah. So, yun, uh, one of the challenges din for me with regards to um, incorporating my course to cosplaying or to branding myself is that gusto ko kasi yung yung target market ko noon is mga bata. Yun yung mm-hmm. gusto kong target Yeah, bata. they are like and children. Then, <laughs> yeah, and then they yeah. incorporate then I tried um, doing sexy cosplays but I have um, limits then but I, I want to do sexy cosplays and then Doon na din pumasok yung problema. Like, paano ko magiging child-friendly yung page ko at the same time, hindi ako mag-sexy cosplay. So, ayun Advantage. lang. You have to, yeah. So, you have to, um like, like, filter talaga Define before posting. Oh, for example, kasi yung market mo is nasa online. You have to filter everything before posting. Um, think the pros and cons and then, if kaya mo tanggapin yung, yung pros and cons and why not post it? Because you are um, branding yourself, and you are sh- um, you're actually marketing yourself uh, when it comes mm-hmm. to the um, sa cosplay community. Ayun at ayun. Okay, next. <laughs> yeah, I think like to supplement like I's answer, like you, you what you cosplay and what you wear is basically how you get your audience. Mm-hmm. Like if if you wear the specific character. Ito yung kina-capture mo na audience, right? Like, so yung, when Diane does, like, princess cosplay, she's trying to capture, like, the younger demographic. Mm-hmm. Tapos, when she goes sexy, of course, yung gusto, who are very interested in those things as well. So, like, I think like, I could relate sa sinasabi ni Diane kasi I am into, like, my, my cosplays do not fall into, like, sexy or child, child, child. Like I, I don't like in, or I don't really go. I don't reach a sexy. Da, da, da. It's like if in in Visaya we call it like like gara gara. <laughs> so like I I I cosplay stuff. Now I know I will have fun in 
when normal miles can't have fun in like parang ganyan so when i started like doing jojo cosplay it's, it's like it gave it gave me a reason to go crazy in a lot of things so i think that's it and then it did help like whoever you dress up as it becomes you in a few like you know in and other people's eyes so parang ganyan i was like oh i know you because you like in diane's case like you cosplayed a lot of like uh fake characters for ganyan and then i i'm known for like you know you did like you like a lot of jojo and then you cosplayed in and parang ganyan so it, it really depends on who you're trying to hit and then choosing the right characters also becomes like one of the marketing aspects in for yourself and i think that's how like how i connect yung course ko like i studied advertising and then three years of that was basically just trying to make art so it, it's more of like you you learn and you decide and then you execute what's best for you in in creative ways parang ganyan if that makes sense i don't know i'm dribbling for yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. like yeah so a lot of people say na you know that that mean na um if you look at me who do you remember me as a cosplay so like you know which cosplay does like you know like what what cosplay do you remind me of parang ganyan like that 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 question like um what is my most memorable cosplay parang ganyan that question and i think that's already a marketing thing already you know that's, that's or true. yeah de ba and then when um there's also a very cliche question uh, um uh who's your favorite cosplay we really don't have an answer for that because it depends on who you're talking to like if a person who's asking is into you know disney of course like for example i know diane would say no i i don't have a favorite but i also cosplayed um how do you say anna once like i like disney uh, parang ganyan so it's also it's how you carry yourself then it, hindi naman yun like you know you're not trying to pretend na you like it it's just more of like you remind them as well na oh i also do this so marketing yan and then yun that gets stamped in people's minds okay. that's what i noticed just like when i go oh you did fate so like i did mordred oh yeah like parang ganyan so it's like <laughs> choosing the right cosplays and choosing the right characters also helps you as a person in a cosplay event like like telling people about you i mean what you cosplay is what you like diba right? so yeah <laughs> it's also like it's like pictures speak for themselves parang ganyan your cosplay speak for themselves and then that's how i see diane and that's how i see most of my friends like everywhere so cosplay and then it makes me happy especially if they like embody a character that i like and then kuhang kuha nila and they don't even try i really like that <laughs> yeah that's why yeah i'm i'm done talking I'll, I'll shut up. But since we start, we're going to talk about more stuff. Like that, right? This is the reason why there's a six heart club. Sige, oh yeah, that's why. Like I, I just like talking to the camera and no, palang nala. Which I like, actually I, agree with, you know, with Miles. Yung yung yeah. sabi niya na meme na you are remembered mm. as cosplaying as. That's why oh, ako. Yeah, yeah. I love I love to cosplay as a Mario kasi yun yung trademark ko mm. kasi so that, ah. okay who is Gary Montaho can you ayun yung Mario. Mario kasi ah. people are really uh, need to ask for help kung oy where can I go this where can where can I do that where can where can I talk mm. to sino si Mal sino si Dayan asan yung mm. booth nila oy si Mario tanahanapin niya yan In, alam niya yan alam niya kung saan yan naging so, brand na din yeah. correct that yeah, is correct na brand mo na yeah and That's by the way just And by the way, yes, an additional ano uh, response coming from I. Babasahin ko lang. So through cosplaying, I learned how to love myself too. As a frontliner mm. in tourism industry, you have to be in the absolute best condition mentally, physically, and emotionally. Never mm-hmm. in my life I have encouraged myself to do self-love. But cosplay lang talaga, and it made a huge impact not only in my cosplay career. But also in my life as well, Odiba. Right? So yeah. everything I learn through cosplay are soft skills. But all yeah. of them are very vital as uh, interpersonal aspects of tourism. That's of tourism, yeah. Mm-hmm. So for me, um, I've had no uh, background with tourism, uh, marketing, 
or even ano yung uh, fine arts ang ang nakuha ko lang talaga yung course ko talaga is ano business uh, administration major in executive resource management para siyang mm-hmm. secretarial job and also mm-hmm. inga um i i juggle my time sa college with uh, my inter with my with my curriculum and also with extracurricular and non curricular activities so i i went into theater i'm also part of saibe before so uh those uh skills that i did not learn from my course na learn ko sa kabit sa na learn ko sa mga other sa organization ko like how to do the acting and also doon ko rin nakuha yung marketing doon ko rin nakuha yung ano public relations so that's where i incorporate my uh my role as in the cosplay community so yung iba talaga talagang bihasa talaga like may backgrounds engineering, talaga magaling sa lights, and then nagagawa nila for their cosplay, for their armaments and costume. Sa akin naman, since I'm not really that uh, specialized in that kind of field based on my educational background, ginagamit ko nila lang yung ano yung nalalaman ko basing on my uh, public relations. So I announce event, so I inform other people. So I also love to do volunteering work. So nung nung nandun pa ako sa college so i love to join and help a lot of people to also uh especially sa organizing side so that's when i get really passionate when when it comes to things so um yeah it's not really cosplay related but still how to i could help contribute something positive for the cosplay community um yeah then for the cosplay now with the costume that's when i start you know to learn Uh, self-learning talaga and sometimes i have to ask questions from the from the expert para sa ganun um i could improve my cosplay from time to time so ganun so as as sa style dayan ang style dayan is yung talagang book smart sa marketing then si my said how you could identify yourself and then si ay naman is how to do self love sa akin is yung discarte ko lang as a mar- for marketing is uh, being Uh, street smarts ang ang discarte ko. Like, I know how I can talk to people. Alam ko kung paano magpag-usap sa kanila. I know how I can adjust, uh-huh. how I can meet halfway. Para sa ganun, um, I can work with them in the future. And, um, and whatever that we, uh, whatever that we failed to do, we learned and we need to apply in the, in the near future. Para sa ganun, we can do better the next time around. So, ano pa natutunan ko sa MASCOM na pwede ko i-apply sa cosplay community? Kasi, Um, that that the choice of my course is has been dependent on what I do. So I've been doing, uh, and this is ano uh, in mga 2010 na I've been doing blogs, mga simple blogs, and then transition to video and then video coverage and all that. Kaya ako na pili yung maskom. Mm. So maskom ako uh, because that's what I do uh, since 2010. On, parati akong online, puya, online. Parati na ito. Sabihan nga ako, Oy, Totoy, matulog ka na, na mga ganun. But, but yeah, uh, those were the times. Those were the times. So, yun. Uh, I can simply say na that affected my career decision and where am I now. So, that's that's the community where I'm in. Okay, so, which moves on to our fourth question. Uh, wait, nasa ba tayo, no? Actually, nahalo natin, nahalo yung 3 and 4. Nahalo yung 3 and 4. Yeah, nahalo yung 3 and 4. Yeah, nahalo yung 3 and 4. Yeah, nahalo yung 3 and 4. But that's, that's fine. Nyo, sa tingin nyo, do you, will you add to this? Uh, can you add to this? Yung, of course, kasi di ba, tinanong natin kanina, yung, have your, has your career helped you in your cosplay? And then the number 4, has your cosplay helped you in your career? And I think nasagot na ni Ayo question number 4. And I guess the rest as well. So, moving on to the last question, For our set, uh, what advice can you tell others who are unsure about their current careers, especially that mm-hmm. we are all locked up. We are all locked up. Oh, yes. I can start because, like, I, I just recently had a conversation with my brother, well, my younger brother, regarding the whole like lockdown situation. Because, de ba, like, he's a, he's the only one left studying, and he's a college student. Tapos, ah. Uh, Uh, he was asking because they're they're forced to do online classes and stuff, and they're they're told na mag enroll daw, and I'm like, like uh, so like to be honest, like I'm not 
one of the people who agreed to the whole like online classes because you don't really learn anything. Because mm-hmm. like it, like yeah, that's why I was like I, I I was so against it. Like so, what I told him and then my mother agreed to actually was um considering it's a pandemic and then considering the world is switching to a different kind of normal now. Um, mm-hmm. Being book smart isn't very useful. <laughs> So you should, I, we don't know how long this will last, but I think the advice that a lot of people are having second thoughts regarding their course right now is um, instead of trying to be smarter than everything else, uh, for everyone else, you should try to be, like, you know, to be smart for yourself and your family. Uh, you should learn life skills because hindi yan natutunan sa school. And you don't learn that in your courses. And I think that's something that a lot of people should learn. And that part, you know, at this day and age, that's something people should recollect and think about. And besides, schools will always be there after the pandemic. And there, you, you can't go back to school. You can't get your degree if you don't take care of yourself during the pandemic. So mm-hmm. I really think that... Um, you should take care of yourself first instead of like thinking of getting that degree because mm-hmm. yeah we only have each other in this mm-hmm. trying time i agree yeah mm-hmm. exactly actually i actually also agree with you yeah mm-hmm. so don't yeah. don't feel bad if you think now you're graduating late because it's it doesn't matter if the world suddenly ends <laughs> your <laughs> your diploma won't get you free food Yan talaga. Yan talaga. That's true. so Mm-hmm. Do something that makes you happy, makes you safe, and mentally healthy, physically healthy, mm-hmm. and spiritually healthy as well. Never, you know, uh, never conform to like society or oh, society. I, I just did I just throw throw society in the conversation, but yeah, just just don't <laughs> conform to things that make you uncomfortable. And if you have doubts, it's okay to take care of yourself first. Now that's that's my advice for everyone. Because I think a lot of people are pressured to finish their studying. And then people also mm-hmm. forget that my pandemic is like, This is crazy. The world is changing. And then it's, it's about time people should recognize that. Okay. Yeah. And okay. that is my uh, thing. Uh, Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> then I thank you. That's <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, it's, it's different naman if you learn uh, with the right people. Eh. All my classes isn't mm-hmm. bad at all. But it's better to experience it in a classroom. And this is that's 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 why classrooms are built. That, that's why may ano may batas nga sa classroom eh. Bawal batas. Bawal ba 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 batas. Tapos ayusin mo, pwede ka na lang ba? <laughs> Pero, I, I totally agree with Miles Semblante. Uh, she said na, you know what, uh, having uh, online classes is it's actually a good idea. However, um, when she mentions about some, there are some other things that we are sometimes taking for granted. Let's just be honest to ourselves. Yung, with, uh, with the technology nowadays, we are always... On the go, but because of the because of the new normal, sometimes we have to revisit on the things that we are that are very important to us. One one thing that is one thing is family actually, and also learning new stuff. Actually, um, when I when I started working at home, I just come to realize that I appreciate washing the dishes because washing the dishes is actually therapeutic. pala. it takes off the mind and makes you feel that there's a feeling na parang okay there's a there's a certain there's a, there's a certain natural high na nangyayari whenever you wash the dishes so also i got to learn how to cook and which uh segue ka onte <laughs> nga nung pumunta ako sa ano sa twitch ni miles i am so blessed talaga because miles nung kagabi had uh, a segment where she invited her culinary friends Si Kim at si JM. And you know what? I learned a lot. Like from how to, uh, from a simple how to scramble an egg. Because there's a lot of technique pala na pwede natin, ano, pwede natin gawin and how to scramble an egg, right? And also yung type of um, 
drinks and also yung dishes. So there's a lot of things that I got to learn. Uh, and big and also thank you and thanks for the fa- for the support of my fans. Na talagang they really are honest with their uh, with their uh, with their comments and how I could improve. I got to taste you know delicacies or food that I was not able to taste before. So yeah, kudos. And I just wanna really wanna promote talaga with uh, with Miles Twitch. Uh, there's a lot of things that that you can enjoy and you can learn and you can have fun. Whenever you go to Miles Twitch page, and almost every every Saturday, every weekend, tama ba Miles? Every weekend, you're on mute. Like every Saturday. <laughs> every Saturday, there's a lot of different yeah. conversation. Different Saturday, kind of... talaga late night, tapos lasing lahat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're uh, watching. Uh, those who watch at uh, my Twitch, thank you very much. Thank you, guys, for hosting the stream. Yes. Um, I think. Uh, Gary already plugged my Twitch, but <laughs> guys, like I'm hosting Jay's, uh, how do you say? Uh, I'm hosting Jay's uh, live right now, but if you mm-hmm. you haven't, and if you want to try Six Hour Club, I do it every Saturday, but I also play video games during the week. I'm more active in Twitch and Twitter now. Uh, all of my links are in my Twitch page anyway, and uh, yes, yeah, uh, nice to meet everyone, and I'm sorry I drabble, I- I'm just so used to it. Because I talk to myself a lot, so <laughs> I'm so sorry, Pero. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Everybody, you're welcome. So, you so, cool. <laughs> so thank you, Gary, for plugging my page. But yeah, I hope to see a lot of familiar names and faces as well in in mm-hmm. Six Art Club. Hopefully, we talk about anything and like we cry about everything as well. We cry <laughs> together in Six Art Club. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully, I hope I hope to meet new friends at Six Art Club. Thanks for uh, having me. So what? while we're waiting for Diane, I also would like to grab the opportunity to thank. Uh, si Miles Blante. I know I'm been saying Miles Blante for al- almost a few seconds now, but I want to <laughs> say thank you to Miles for uh, giving a very good contribution uh, to the cosplay mm. community here in Cebu. Because oh. you know, no, I just say I'm just saying that you cover I'm up. Saying, oh. Cover up. <laughs> but, you know, uh, yeah, uh. she made um, yung the time na we're in. We are having some difficulty uh, reaching out to our idols because they're in Manila. Sila. But the fact that uh, she uh, brought her Manila fans to come over, and with oh, also with I Natsumi, that was really good. That was she a really. She invited good... herself over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I yeah. just like adopted her for like uh, a day, and no, and because... she, yeah, she just adopted yeah. me for a day. <laughs> no, go go. And because of that, it made a domino effect as well, uh, which Miss I Natsumi fell in love. I, I, I fell in love with Cebu. And medyo talagang na influence din niya si Rhea Kami. We're hoping that Rhea Yes, Kami yes. Thank you for mentioning that. Thank you for mentioning that. Yeah. Yun nga, no? At the story behind this, uh, wait lang, ha? Okay. Please mention Stan Cloudy. Cloud Tifa Forever. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? As for the young, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Maraming magagalit, maraming matatamaan. Oh, si Aito, <laughs> si Aito. Uh, last, um, ano, matindi nating lasan eh. Alright, so, um, ayun na nga, I Not To Me uh, is on Facebook and mm-hmm. on Twitter. We'll share it in the show notes. Uh, Clock is canon. Thank you. Salamat din po. Uh, so mga nakakami sa Final Fantasy VII, I only watch, I only watch my brother, older brother watch Final, uh, oh, I only watch my older brother play Final Fantasy VII for the Chocobos. <laughs> and for your so and for your mini uh, game. Ano. So again, um I guess that's about it, ano? Tama? Okay, si na plug na natin si Dayan. Again, Dayan sa Bendeha cosplay and support her as well on her coffee. Okay. And and I guess uh ayan, uh, that's the agenda. Clotty is canon. Clotty Clotty is canon. <laughs> Clotty is canon. I'm daming magagalit sen. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. So yeah, and also you can also check on my page, uh, Cebu's Cosplay Event Buzzer, Gary Montejo. I know walang event ngayon lately sa Cebu, but you can all, but we love to share uh, anything. What is anime? What is uh, pop culture? What is uh, happening in social media? And also, how are people dealing with this uh, new normal? So you can always check on my page. 
Right. Gary, ready ka na. Uh, magsasalang tayo ng mga katropa mo dyan from Cebu dito sa, uh, sa ating uh, live uh, streams. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I'm sure. Uh, Sama natin yung mga, uh, mga makulit at saka masaya na friends natin from Cebu. 